Good evening, pimps. I'm coming to you this evening to tell you some truly harrowing news. There's been a tragic accident at DA headquarters, an unthinkable one. The board is outraged that this tragedy could ever happen. The tragedy being, they accidentally made a good game for the first time in 10 years. Yes, I know Titanfall 2 came out seven years ago, but that goes against my point, so I will be disregarding it. Anyways, here is some footage of what? My bad. That was the wrong game. No, here is some footage. Viewer discretion is advised. Pocket lunch wow. You did. All right, uh, where is this jabroni at? Wild Hearts is my shit. It's like digital crack for the soul, except with this crack, the better your PC is, the worse it runs. Still not as good as Wanted Dead's day one Russian roulette feature where you either buy the half-built copy or the finished copy, but a solid effort nonetheless. Anyways, I'm getting off point though. What I was saying is this. I played this game and it was like a sensory deprivation tank where I hop in, then come out thinking it was 20 minutes, but meanwhile it's actually been 20 years and we all now live in the post-apocalyptic wasteland following the Ohio incident where they decided, fuck it, if we can't take over the world, we'll torch it. And you may be wondering why, Fleek? The answer is simple, pimp. Wild Hearts is not a game about LARPing, nor walking, nor gambling. It's not a game that wastes your time, your money, or your patience. This is an actual video game that throws you into the sandbox, gives you your very own big brother, and tells you to hunt down every last furry you can find. And brother, let me tell you something, business is booming. Now as a quick note, this is the first impressions based off of the 10 hour trial they gave me. If you want a full review, too bad Yakuza Samurai comes out tomorrow. Let's kick this off by talking about the character customizer. Remember Hog Rider's legacy? That's all right, neither do I. But in that nine out of 10 masterpiece, it would only allow you to create a femboy that hadn't an ounce of testosterone. -th. But meanwhile, in Wild Hearts, look at this absolute beefcake, this definitive hunk, a real man. You can tweak him down to the very last nose hair. This is a $70 experience right here. And speaking of riding hogs, let's talk about the gameplay. Are you sick of having inane bullshit spewed at you for hours on end in your video games? Me too. Luckily in Wild Hearts, they understand that I don't care and I just wanna mash buttons and feel that sweet release. Wild Hearts has the absolute minimum cutscenes and the absolute maximum gameplay. And yes, the game is mostly a clone of Monster Hunter World, but before one of you goes, eh, Flea Carry Ball's legacy, you said it was a clone as a god. You're goddamn right I did. I have no problem with clones, but if you're gonna clone something, all I'm saying is clone something good. Not those shitty new Assassin's Creed games. Can I get a yes, sir? Yes, sir. 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 And by the way, Wild Hearts feels much better than Monster Hunter World ever did. That's right, I said it. It's the Boba Fett of clones, if you will. Primarily because Wild Hearts has much more mobility thanks to the new Fortnite features. That's right. It's time to <clears throat> crank some 90s. You can build a tower and launch off of it before the enemy crashes into it and destroys it under suspicious circumstances. You can make boosters if you want to launch at the enemy like a psychopath. You can set up a torch and light your blade on fire while lunging through it to do fire damage. Hop into the Huey and... 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 Make a giant Tom and Jerry hammer, and best of all, you can slide right under the enemy's nuts and give them a little taste. You get what I'm trying to say. No more moving like a geriatric, no more sharpening your whetstone, and a lot more building walls to keep out those goddamn dinos. It's perfect. This combat feels so tight that even though this game is just fighting giant mutated sponges, I'm still having a blast. Especially if you contrast this with the renowned 9 out of 10 masterpiece, Hogs Legacy. Wild Hearts, Hogwarts Legacy. Wild Hearts, Hogwarts Legacy. The difference is so stark, it's almost like I didn't show anything for Hogs. So why don't you take your little spellbook and cast Shove It Up Your Ass on that 9 
Listen, I'm just joking around. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is, if you don't use the umbrella to kill the entire fur forest, I'm gonna have to give you a big old hug with my hands around your neck. And Big Mama's not here to help you anymore. As for the armor, my favorite part about the armor is that depending on how you spec out, it determines whether you want to become a furry or a functioning member of society. I'm not gonna lie, there's not really much more to say, pimp. The gameplay is fantastic, the story is scarce, and you get to invade foreign lands and kill all the locals. Maybe I'm just feeling nostalgic, but truly, there's no game more patriotic. Seeing as this is just a preview, I will not give any rating nor recommendation except to say, KT, fix your shit, or else the reviews on this game are gonna get bombed harder than Hiroshima. Future Fleek here, I was right. Goodbye, pimp!